Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to remove the background out of any video, any image or any image, any background information in a video that you do not want in it, you can remove it with rotoscoping. I will note though that this tutorial also uses Adobe After Effects, so it is a Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects tutorial. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to move my playhead back here. On the left side in the source monitor, I'm going to hit play. And you're going to see here that I've got this lady here. She's drinking her tea or coffee with her friend. And for whatever reason, we decided that we don't want anything else in this video or in this shot except her. And you can see here that I've done it on the right side here because, well, there it is. Here she is, extracted from the background. Everything's taken out. She's all that's in it. So this is a super useful technique. Let me show you how I did it. Let's just go ahead and delete everything here, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to delete all of that. And we're going to start from scratch. So the first step is you get the footage like this here and drag and drop it into the timeline to create a sequence. We've got our sequence and here she is drinking coffee. Now, because rotoscoping and, and these techniques are very, very CPU and uh, time intensive, I'm just going to make this like a two second clip so it doesn't take too much. I don't want to waste your time learning stuff that, or watching me do things when it's not necessary. I just want to teach you the technique. So here we go. We've got this two second clip of her drinking coffee or tea. Now what we want to do is we want to extract all the background out and keep her and only her. Normally you would use a green screen for this, but in this case, well, we're going to show you how to do it if you didn't get a green screen on it. So here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this footage, or pardon me, I'm not going to click off of it here. I'm going to right click. And you're going to see down here, it says replace with After Effects composition. This is what we need to do. So I'm going to, so we right clicked. Now I'm clicking on replace with After Effects composition. This loads the two seconds of footage into After Effects. And when now that we're in After Effects, we're going to do what's called a rotoscope. The next step is you want to double click on your video so that it opens up the layer panel. So I'm not, I'm, I'm in the layer panel now. And now that I'm in the layer panel, I'm going to go up to the top here. And on this top toolbar, you're going to see Roto Brush or Option W. Now watch what I do. I clicked on Roto Brush. Again, I'm in the layer panel. And I'm just going to brush just like this over her. And it's not going to be perfect to start, but you're going to see that it's gone ahead and drawn an outline around her. Now the hair gets pretty tricky. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Let's get that in there. Okay, that's not so bad, actually. It's doing a very good job, actually, right here. Let's add this, add another layer. I just slowly inch it out towards the edge because eventually it's going to pull in this part, and I don't want that. So let's see what we got. Okay, see, there we go. I don't want that. So now I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key if you're on a Mac, and I'm just going to draw over this part here. Because that, I, when I drew the red line there, holding the Alt or Option key down, it says, hey, I don't want that. I just want this. So I'm just slowly inching up. And I've told After Effects that, you know, kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, I don't want this top, holding down the Alt or the Option key. And I know this is kind of tedious, but generally, you got to do it once. You can do a pretty good job the first time, and then After Effects will sort of figure out as we go along. So this is a pretty good rotoscope. I'm not going to go perfectly into detail but it's very very good and now what you got to do is you got to take this playhead and move it forward a little bit at a time so i'm just going to move it forward and if i see something that jumps out at me where maybe it pulls in something i don't want it again we only want this around her so this looks pretty good so far so i'm just moving it forward in time and okay good so i'm going to move it for a few more frames okay after effects has done a very good job so i'm just going to go ahead now and let's assume that it's perfectly, you can go ahead and adjust it on each frame. Like if I was in like the one sec or the one minute, the one second mark, <laughs> and this had something I didn't want, you can just go in there and go, okay, add this or delete that. But this has done a good job. So now I'm going to go file, save. Okay, good. Now, when I load back into Premiere Pro, this is going to round trip back in and you're going to see it saved without her, without the background. Now watch, when I hit that there you go the background is taken out it's just her this is amazing and it did it super super fast how cool is that i know right so there we go we've got what we were looking for now what we can do to make triple sure that we've got it correct i'm going to move this up to video track two and i'm going to put a video underneath it just so we can see that it's pulled out everything and presto there it is so it's completely transparent 
here she is. I'm going to move her over here, and maybe I'll make her a little smaller for whatever reason. There we go. And boom, put her in the, what do you think, like at the bottom right corner? Yeah, there she is. Doing her thing, talking, having tea, bulldog in the background. That is how you rotoscope like a champion. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. That's how you remove background. That's how you do what you got to do inside Premiere Pro and After Effects. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.